Hey everybody, so glad that you've tuned in. I wanna encourage you. Um, we've been talking the last few times I've been able to do these encouragement videos, and I'm so glad that you tune in, and I hope you share them with everyone. It is such an important time to know the voice of the Spirit of God. It is such an important time to be led by the Spirit of God. You know, um, the Bible calls us sheep. Uh, Jesus is the under shepherd. We're the sheep of his pasture. And in John chapter 10, it says, talking about us as sheep, it says he puts forth his own sheep. He goes before them. The sheep follow him because they know his voice and a stranger they will not follow, but will flee from him for they know not the voice of a stranger. You have one shepherd, Jesus Christ. You have me if I'm your under shepherd, but Jesus is the chief shepherd of your life. And so you need to get very good at discerning his voice. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Your rod and your staff, they come from me. What is that? That's the shepherd. So the shepherd is the only one that can lead you out of the valley of the shadow of death. And he doesn't just lead you out of the valley of the shadow of death. He leads you into green pastures and still waters, which you need as a sheep. But see, today, um, the world is trying to conform us. The Bible says in Romans chapter 12, it says, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed. The world, the God of this world, uh, everyone is trying to conform people. Don't be conformed into the world, but be, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And one of the things you've gotta be very clear about is that you can and must be led by the Spirit of God at all times. You have a witness on the inside of you. First John 5 and 10 says that that's how you know you're born again. You have a witness, you have a knowing. Romans 8, 16 says his spirit bears witness with your spirit. And in the same way then in Romans 8, 14, it says the, um, that you as a son of God are to be uh, led by the spirit of God. So you're his sheep, you know his voice. In Acts chapter 27, we see Paul getting ready to go on a, vo a voyage and he's not in charge. He's, he's under somebody else's charge. And he tells the centurion, he said, I perceive or I know, not based on outward circumstances, not based on anybody's expertise because all the expertise, the owners of the ship, all the sailors said, it's good to go, it's good to go. But Paul had a perception, he had a knowing. You see, if you and I don't start living by that, then we're no better off than the world. We're no better off than an unbeliever. Why would you let a di a, a, an advantage that you have? John 16, 13 says the Spirit of God will show you things to come. You don't have to be a prophet to know your future. You don't have to be, have a word from a prophet to know what decision to make in your life. I implore you to get full of this right now. Get full of the word, get full of an understanding of how to be led. Because um, there may have been some things that look like in our, they're in our rear view mirror, but uh, welcome to it. You've arrived to the last days. And so you need to be wise and you need to be aware of what's going on. And the only way you can make proper decisions is by unction of the Holy Ghost, is by knowing the word of God. And so Pastor Mark, how do I get better then at hearing from God? Well, I'm glad you asked. It's a faith thing. A lot of people in our circles, they'll tell you, well, if you need to hear from God, just pray in tongues more. But the Bible says in Jude 20 that when you pray in tongues, you build upon your most holy faith. If you don't have faith to hear from God, then praying in tongues will just supercharge you, but you're still not going to be able to hear from God. I hear people say this, well, you just need to fast. Fasting's good. It puts your body under and that'll work too. But it won't work unless you really believe that you can hear from God. You know his voice. You're not trying to learn it. You know his voice, you're not trying to learn it. You may be trying to discern it, but you're not trying to learn it, you know it. But see, you've gotta believe that. Anytime I go to make a decision in my life, and there's some big ones I've had to make over the last year and a half for church, uh, for me and my family personally, I do these same things. I rehearse what the Word of God says. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. So if I'm gonna make a decision that I need to hear from God on, First thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to build myself up in scripture so that my faith rises up. I don't immediately start praying in tongues. Although I'm like the apostle Paul, I thank my God I pray in tongues or speak in tongues more than you all. I'm not opposed to fasting. Don't like it very much, but I'm not opposed to it. What do I gotta do? Well, I gotta know this in, in John 10, 27, Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. John 18 and uh, 37, the last part says, I bear witness unto the truth. Everyone that is of the truth hears my voice. 
Just like he said in the book of Revelation, he that has an ear, everyone that's in the church, he that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the church. God is always talking. It's not an audible voice, but it's a knowing. I implore you to build your faith in this area so that you can make the proper decisions for you and your family. It could save your life. It'll put you at the right place at the right time in the season of your life. It'll bring blessing to you and everybody around you. Love you. We'll see you all next time.